Welcome to another Falcon 4 BMS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over my favorite missile in the whole world, the AIM-120 AIM RAM. Okay, so let's learn about the AIM RAM. AIM RAM. AIM RAM. Let's learn about it. Okay, let's, first thing first, click tactical reference. Okay, in here, we're going to, now mm, we're going to click this button right here. See this button? Munitions. Let's click the shit out of that. Scroll the shit out of this fucking menu. We go to AIM-120 Bravo AIM RAM. AIM RAM. This functionality right here at the top. See where my mouse is? This was actually this functionality was actually created to give you a seizure, but that's okay. We're gonna click these buttons here. Okay, just click these buttons. This will tell you things: range, speed, Mach 4, Mach 4. So fast. Okay, and the AIM-120 AIM RAM. Now, no, okay, very important. Gotta, all right, everyone stop. All right, everyone stop. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Now, there's a common misconception in the Falcon 4 BMS community that AIM RAMs can be pronounced differently than AIM RAM. But I'm going to, you know, I can vow on the graves of my father and great grandfather, King Tut, that that is the way to pronounce it. Anything else is pure blasphemy. Okay, so the AIM 120 AIM RAM. I'm just gonna read this whole thing to you. The whole thing, word for word. The AIM-120 AIM RAM was developed in the 1980s to replace the AIM-7 Sparrow. For those who don't know, the Sparrow was a really crappy missile that came before the AIM RAM. But you know, it was only called Sparrow in testing. In the actual pilots referred to it as the AIM row. That's actually how you pronounce it. One of the chief disadvantages of the AIM row missile was that the launching fighter had to maintain a radar lock on the target. Blah 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 blah. Ooh, ooh, AIM RAM. Ooh. 